Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of Gamecock Start with Captain Will. I am your boy. I'm your boy, Captain Will. Make sure you like, make sure you share, make sure you subscribe to Gamecock Start with Captain Will so I continue to bring you the gospel of Gamecocks every single day. You are now, you are now rocking with the best. And since you're rocking with the best, come rock with your boy, Captain well, we got a good one today, y'all. I said we got a good one today, y'all. We are talking about official visits. We're talking about official visits to the South Carolina Gamecock women's basketball program. We're talking about official visits from one, Adele Tack. Adele Tack was in on a visit. And on a visit over the weekend. It wasn't publicized. It wasn't on Instagram. It wasn't on Twitter. It wasn't on Facebook. It wasn't on TikTok. It wasn't on Twitch. If I'm missing out anything, just let a brother know, because I don't know. But it wasn't on those things. It was in a visit. Her family was at South Carolina. And the reason I found out about this, the reason I know about this, the reason I know about this right here, because at the, uh, at the game on Saturday, when, when South Carolina played Mississippi State, the, 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 the ladies was introduced. The ladies was on the sideline. I'm talking about the ladies. I'm talking about the women's basketball team. You know, Don Staley was there rocking her, 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 her Alshon Jeffrey Philadelphia Eagle jersey on the sideline. But if you check out the ladies, you check out the ladies, and, and, and from left to right, left to right, we're going to do this from left to right because I, I put up the picture, but left to right, you see multiple game costs. You see Malaysia Full Wally. You see a uh, uh, Tina Pow Pow. You see a uh, uh, Sanaya Fagan. You see a uh, 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 Tessa Johnson. You see the Chloe Kiss. If you look further down the line, you look further down the line, you see Adele Tat and family. Let Don Staley work, y'all. Let Don Staley work. Just because it's not everywhere on social media does not mean that Don Staley is not working, y'all. Don Staley is working. Adele Tack was on campus this past Saturday. She was there. She was there hanging out with the girls. I'm sure we're going to see some type of social media montage from one Adele Tack. It's going to be coming. And when it happens, I will let you know. I will display the video. But with that being said, it is happening. It is happening. Trust in Don Staley. And I know in the previous video, your boy was sad. I was drinking some a Moscow Mule at 1 o'clock in the afternoon because of, of Joyce Edwards being at LSU. And I'm still a little pissed off about that whole situation with the with the, with the the uh, white Mercedes and, and, and top down and, and LSU getting all the pub and all this stuff. But I can't handle LSU right now. I can't handle LSU because you good, you good. You good, you good. But let's Don Staley work. There's a reason why she had a double two recruiting class in, the, in, in 2023. It's the reason why she had the uh, 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 sixth-rate recruiting class in the class of 2022. It's the reason why she had the number one recruiting class in the class of 2021. Don Staley knows what she's doing. She knows what she is doing. She ain't forgot how to recruit, y'all. She ain't forgot how to recruit. Joyce Edwards at LSU. She did. She, she, she's hanging out at LSU, doing all everything, having a great old time. But at the end of the day, she got to go back to the country. She gotta go back to the country. She gotta go back to the sticks that's in, in Camden, South Carolina. And what's 30 miles from Camden, South Carolina? That is as Columbia, South Carolina, University of South Carolina. She gotta go back to the sticks. Gotta get for the glitz and glamour of Baton, Baton Rouge and, and the purple and that gold and come on over to that garden in black. Because it's going down. It's going down. I don't know when the official gonna, visit gonna be with, with Joyce Edwards. In South Carolina, I don't know. I will try to find out for you. But I tell you this right here. Adele Tack was on, on the guard. Adele Tack was eating some Bojangles. Adele Tack was drinking some sweet tea. I know that one. 
I know she she enjoyed her time at the University of South Carolina football game, hanging out with the ladies, and we as we beat down Mississippi State. I know that. I know she had a great old time. I know she toured the facility. I know she toured the campus. I know she toured the, the dorm rooms. I know she toured, had a great old time. Probably ate some TikTok videos, hanging out with Raven, hanging out with uh, uh, Sanaya, hanging out with Chloe, hanging out with all the girls. Having a great time. Having a great time. And what I did see, I saw the family. I saw the family. And anytime you take your family on a visit, you know it's something. You know it's something. If you didn't know, you know, you know. Just be patient. Be patient. It is going down. They attack right now. I think by ESPN, 33rd ranked player in the country, right behind uh, 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 Shaquille O'Neal's daughter, six foot five post from Texas. So we got to do all we can to get those services to South Carolina. All we can. A a a a a a a a, a matchup of uh, uh, Matty McDaniel at point. With a Dale Tack will be great. Will be sensational. And then throw in a wing, because I ain't forgot about old Kennedy Smith just yet. That'll be awesome. And old good old Joyce Edwards, number two ranked player in the country. That class will be dominant. That class will be amazing. And I'm still sticking to that. That we're gonna we're gonna sign the top three recruiting class in the country. I feel that. I feel it in my strength. I feel it in my spirit. That is going down. Just let it work. Let it work. Let it work. I see stuff on the social media that oh, uh, Don Staley has lost it. Don Staley don't know how to crew. The NIL, oh, the NIL is, is changing college basketball, which I do agree. The NIL has changed college basketball because a lot of ladies are going to where the dollars are. And I can't hate on that whatsoever. You are an independent contractor. You get as much money as you can in a short period of time that you have to play a sport. I understand that completely. And then I hear other people talking about girls don't want to go to certain teams because they have to sit and watch and learn. And, and, and they, they just want to show up as a freshman and start. What I'm here to tell you right now, any team that you're going to have a freshman come in and start and play dominant minutes in big girl college basketball is not going to be a good team. I'm just letting you know that right now. Because if you start a, a, a freshman or two on, 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 on University A, who are really good. I'm talking about two top 20 players who are really, really good. But you playing a team that not only has two top 20 players on that on this team, but has 10 top 20 players on this team. That team with 10 top 20 players on this team is going to beat down the other team. It's just math, y'all. It's just math. Do we have players in the country, in the, in the top 25, in the, in the class of 24, 2024, that is going to the best opportunity for them to get minutes? Of course we are. Of course we see that. Of course we do. But you want... If, I'm just saying, y'all, I'm sure all the people watch me watch football as well. Watch football as well, okay? So, you don't want to be in a situation where you are starting a freshman, a freshman, playing against grown-ass women who've been doing it for three, four years. You don't want to be in that situation. You want to bring them up slowly. If they have the talent, they're going to get minutes. But you're talking about, I'm going to just show up and I'm just going to start over uh, over players who are top 10, top 20, and were also McDonald's All-Americans as well. They're going to start over, this player, oh, over these players who are juniors and seniors who've been in the system, who be getting better, who've been in the lab with a pen in the pad. No, it don't work that way. It don't work that way. And so for, for, for anybody who's thinking, like, oh, 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 uh, Don Staley's success doesn't it, it, it's not going to happen anymore because players don't want to come in and sit. Players don't want to come in and sit. Players want to just jump on jump, jump on board University A and just I'm gonna start. I'm gonna get thirty minutes a game. No, no. You think Malaysia Fool Wiley, who could have went to any school in the country, any school in the country, would have signed with South Carolina? Knowing that she's going to watch for a little while. 
Aja Wilson, the greatest player in South Carolina history. Aja Wilson, the greatest player in South Carolina history, who has a statue in front of Colonial Life Arena, did not start as a freshman. She came off the bench. Let that, let that resonate right there. Let that resonate. Aja Wilson, who just won two MVPs in the WNBA, won back-to-back -back defensive players of the year, rookie of the year, all the accolades, all the all, all Americans, all, won every award in college, came off the bench at the University of South Carolina. When you come into the stadium, you see a statue of her. There are levels to this. And Don Staley still has the cheat code, y'all. We would not have be having this conversation. We would not be having this conversation and we would have beat Iowa and then both race LSU again. We wouldn't be having this conversation. All the media buzz that Iowa got because they played us at our worst game and that we didn't get opportunity to beat down LSU once again. Everything trend, everything like, oh, everything's over. Oh, everything's over for South Carolina. Oh, oh, Don State don't have the coach no more. Oh, NIL's gonna change. At least we forget that we won four straight games. And was always gonna go, go undefeated and went back to back national championships. If we won, and I say if if well, we say if, if this was a fifth, I'll only be drunk. That's I know that. That's true. But we we will be having these conversations. Don ain't forgot how to coach, y'all. Don ain't forgot how to recruit, y'all. That ain't happen. It, it, doesn't, it didn't happen before. It ain't happened yet. There is no doom and gloom in South Carolina. And damn sure ain't no doom and gloom, no Don Staley. So the, 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 the stuff that I hear, the mentions, the comments, and the, and the, and the extra stuff that I hear about Don Staley, you don't think she got receipts on that stuff? You don't think she listened to Captain Will? I wish she I wish she does. I uh, hope she does listen to Captain Will. I really do. Because she listens to Captain Will, Don Staley, I would love to have you on my show. I've been watching Rocking with you since 1992, so I'd love to have you on my show. But you don't think she listened? She hear all everything. Don Staley hears everything. And so the people that's doubting her out, the people that's doubting her girls, watch them work. Watch them work. It will be going down soon enough. You talking about six Mondays. Six Mondays, we got college basketball with the University of South Carolina against Notre Dame. Six Mondays, 42 days. It is happening, y'all. And we will see what changes the, the, the South Carolina Gamecock team has went through. We'll see the growth of a Sanaya Fagan. We'll see the growth of a Raven Johnson. We'll see the growth of a Bree Hall. Bree Hall, Sanaya Fagan will each get increased minutes, and we'll see how they are going to work in this offense and play defense. We'll see if they can replace the the production. The production. Because you can't replace a you can't replace a player in Aaliyah Boston. But can you replace the production of a Bree Bill and a and a and a and a Leah Boston? We'll see can we can you replace the production of a uh, of a Zaya Cook with a Tina Pow Pow. We will see the unleashed of a Raven Hollywood Johnson. And I'm talking about a player who I loved in high school. We will see that. We'll see if Camila Cardoza the most dominant, will be the most dominant player. But dominant play, post player in the country. We will see that. We all will find out. But one thing, Don Selling ain't forgot a coach. He ain't forgot how to recruit. So Adele Tack was there on campus. Adele Tack and family. You will see uh, a Joyce Edwards and family on campus. And I think you're going to see another. You're going to see Sarah Strong on campus. She's doing her, her rotation around uh, around the country. She was in Oregon. She's going to be making her way down to South Carolina too. She's she from North Carolina. She's going to make it to the crib as well. It, the, 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 um, the demise of South Carolina is, is over, is, 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 is exaggerated. And, and, and to, 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 to a high level. We're going to get a Dale Tack. We already got Manny McDaniel. We're going to get Joyce Edwards. And we're going to get either Kennedy Smith, possibly get uh, 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 McKinley Randolph. But we, get, we will get three. In this recruiting class, it will be three to four players. And those three to four players will all be top-level players. 
will be top level recruits. And we continue to train, continue to train of dominant recruiting class. Somebody hit me up before and said, oh, Don Staley only recruit, only have top classes every three years. First of all, that's not true. That's not true. Okay. Do your research and just continue to continue to follow. Okay. Like I said before, 2023 class is the second ranked class in the country. 2022 was sixth ranked class in the country. 2021 was number one ranked recruiting class. That's the, those are just facts. And that's over the last three years. Okay. Over the last three years. So Adele Tack, I hope you had an amazing time. University of South Carolina. I look forward to you committing to the University of South Carolina, put on that garden in black. And with that being said, this concludes another episode of Game Cops Talk with Captain Will. I'm your boy, Captain Will. Make sure you like, make sure you share, make sure you subscribe to Game Cops Talk with Captain Will so I continue to bring you that gospel of Game Cops every single day. You are now rocking with the best. And since you're rocking with the best, come rock with your boy, Captain Will. Let's go.